Hey there, so we are just hanging out in the studio today. I'm Jeannie Hankins. I've got Jackie Miller here with me. And uh, we, it's Tuesday afternoon. You're probably not seeing this on Tuesday, but uh, we like to take a little time off after the paper is sent off to the printer and just hang out, kind of decompress a little bit and just talk about the week behind and the week to come and um, just kind of fill you in on what goes on around here and what's going on in the community too. Good morning. Yeah, I was gonna say, speaking of cold, it is going to be a cold one Wednesday morning. We're looking at a windy, windy day like it was Monday. Um, I don't know if the breeze crawled up your back on Sunday or Monday, but let me tell you, it was bitter. It was um, cold. For Arizona. <laughs> yeah, it was for Christmas is, it's not gonna be a white Christmas, but it might be a wet Christmas, so you might need to get out those galoshes because yes. it, it looks like it could rain next week um, for Christmas as well as, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday all look like we're going to have weather in the 50s for the highs and possibility of rain showers. If you're still looking for some things to do this weekend with family to enjoy some of the Christmas festivities, <laughs> Dr. Kirk's light display has actually been moved down to Wishing Well Park by the Hacienda Bridge. Um, so if you haven't been down there, it is a wonderful light show that's been put to music so you have an opportunity to um, sit there and enjoy Wishing Well Park and enjoy all the Christmas lights uh, that have been put to song. Um, yeah, you Charlie just, Brown Christmas and all the classics. It's the one that maybe a lot of you have seen up on um, West Wickenburg Way previously in front of Dr. Kirk's dental practice but they went ahead and moved it down toward um, the bridge and the roundabout so that people coming by could also enjoy it and so you can enjoy it in your car. Just tune your radio to the station it says um, out front which uh, which one to dial in and then you can just listen to the the, the music and, and see the lights kind of dance in, in sync with the music. It's pretty cool. It is a fun time. This week and next week we are excited to be publishing What Does Christmas Mean to Me from all of the kiddos over at the elementary school and the Christian Academy. Um, there's going to be some in this week's edition and some in next week's edition. Mm -hmm. um, some really great messages from these kids who really are understanding the true message uh, of Christmas which is, which is really fun to read. I was pleasantly surprised to read them uh, when we put the pages together and and realize that you know we think oh kids these days they're all about the material items but a lot of them really did talk about the meaning of Christmas and the and the Christmas story from the Bible and and just short little quotes from them that kind of reveal that yep you're, they're getting the message. Yes, yeah, it's fun. So um, our churches from all around town, depending on your denomination, are going to be celebrating Christmas with Christmas Eve services, birthday cakes with the Presbyterian Church. Mm -hmm. um, so check out page eight if you um, don't have a church that you're already attending and are looking for a special service this Christmas. Um, you can certainly check out page eight of this week's paper um, and pick out a service that, that'll match your denomination and, and timeline. Yeah, so real quick, um, just to run down some of the church services. They'll have a candlelight service at First Southern Baptist Church at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve and that of course is on West Yavapai Street and then Redeemer, Redeemer Lutheran Church will have 6 p.m. candlelight service and then um, they will also have a 10 a.m. on December 25th on Christmas morning a worship service. So and then as you mentioned the Presbyterian Church will have birthday cake on December 24th at 6 p.m. and then a candlelight service at 7. The Place Church has two services on Christmas Eve at uh, 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. and then Community Alliance Church also at 6 p.m. has a, a special service unto us like no other and that's focusing on the Christmas story of course and um, Community Alliance is over on Falcon Drive so like Jackie said those are all on page 8 of, of t um, this week's paper and so you can check those out. And then next week, and as well as this week, we have a lot of advertisements from um, businesses in town just wanting to celebrate and say thanks for a great year and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of our readers. And those are really nice. I like to see those. Yeah, they, they make it special for sure. Um, we've got some other events. December 22nd is Sunday. This Sunday, Wickenburg Ranch is going to be hosting their Santa brunch. Um, if you haven't been out there to enjoy Wickenburg Ranch's amenities, Really, it's a beautiful place to be and, and a great place to enjoy a Santa brunch. Meet Santa, bring the kids, um, and just really enjoy some gourmet foods for, for what Wickenburg has to offer. It is always a, a treat to go out to Wickenburg Ranch to eat at Jake's and to just enjoy the beautiful scenery. It almost takes you out of Wickenburg. You feel like you're in a different place for a little bit, um, and so it's a treat to go out there. 
Speaking of good meals, though, downtown Wickenburg, I noticed that Bar 7 has a great special in the paper this week, too, where you can go in and buy three $50 gift certificates for $100. And I'm not good at math, but I can even figure this out. I can get $150 worth of gift certificates to probably spread around the family for $100. And uh, so I'm going to go down there. Yeah, that's a great deal. <laughs> and they were playing the NFR and had great prime rib specials. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing a great job of keeping keeping live music running through the restaurant and different things. So yeah. um, it's definitely yeah. a fun and exciting time here in Wickenburg. Our team ropers will be um, back after their trips up to Vegas. And um, it's, we're just going to keep rocking and rolling mm -hmm. and head into January. And before we know it, we're going to look up and boom, it's gold rush days. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, you're making me tired. <laughs> I, I know the now. Gold Rush Committee <laughs> did meet for the first time last week and um, talking to the Chamber Director. Um, things have been rolling along for, for quite some time and now the committee's coming together to see what all still needs to be accomplished before February. Yep, it all comes together every year uh, with the help of the town and the Chamber and all the volunteers and all the different entities that join in to bring Gold Rush um, together every year and it's a well-oiled machine with lots of different players and, and everybody's um, participation is so important but uh, I'm looking forward to it this year uh, they're gonna have Stan and Betty Watson as the Grand Marshals of the parade and those of you who've been in Wickenburg a long time know that Stan and Betty have been um, in place here in many roles uh, for many years and it's going to be fun to wave to them as they go by. Yeah, Betty was actually an employee of the Wickenburg Sun for some time and um, you had an opportunity and I both had an opportunity to work with her in volunteer opportunities that she participates in still. Um, they have lived down in this area for many, many years um, and now are enjoying life at my father's retirement ranch and it's really an honor to have them mm -hmm. as, as Grand Marshal for for the parade this year it is and that's one of the nice things about gold rush is we have an opportunity to honor those longtime Wickenburg residents and and uh, you know give them a, their moment in the Sun uh, because they have put in a lot of time in our community yes and with that becomes volunteership so get involved um, see what you can do for those of you who usually find yourself out of town on gold rush days maybe think about spending the gold rush days in town <laughs> with us and um, hanging out and reminding yourself um, why you tend to find yourself out of out of it that weekend so um, we appreciate your time and joining us here in the studio we it's hope you have fun. a good rest of your day and join us back here again soon. And we'll be back later this week. I have on tap Mayor Rui Pereira coming in to join us um, just to say hello and Merry Christmas. He will be in later this week. I'm not sure exactly when, but keep watching. Look forward to it. Bye. <laughs>